the projects I've been working on was working out how to repeatedly cut a designer logo within a certain part that you already have um, in the same spot repeatedly. And I was thinking, well, if you want to cut this part, even after, you know, like a few hours or days, you want to still locate on that same spot. So how do you do that? Um, one of the things that I really looked into is how to manipulate the WAM or Wazer's cam um, to really utilize that software to locate that for you so you don't have to do that work every time. So I'm putting out an indicator that's sort of like um, a square and an offset of a square. So there's a little shoulder. And in that shoulder, I'll put in my jig or fixture. Um, one of the tips I would say for the fixture is to really understand what parts you're putting down. Um, for example, for my part, it was metallic. So I actually put some silicone lining so that it grips onto and cushions the part in place when my actual design is being cut. Um, one of the things I realized is the contact points of the spoons and forks that I've used or knives um, all had different contact points. So I made divots within my fixture so that it situates um, very well within that. Um, the way that I cut my logo is basically on the top ends of my utensils. And as you can see, sometimes your, you know, your parts are kind of curved and they might hit the cutting head. So you want to also situate that well enough to not hit that when you're cutting. Um, so those are the tips I have for the jig itself.